Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Mat Workout with Ankle Weights. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and some lightish ankle weights. I'm using one kilo, which is about 2.2 pounds. You can go slightly heavier if you like, but we are going to be doing quite a few reps, so you want to keep that in mind. If you don't have any, you can do the entire workout without. And if you find that throughout the exercises they are getting a bit heavy, you can take them off at any point. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a little warm up without the ankle weights and then put them on. If you're in a very cold climate and you need more of a warm up, then make sure you do that and come back to us. Okay, let's lie down. And we're just going to either put our hands behind our head to engage our upper abs or lie all the way down. And we'll just bring our legs up and just start tapping down and down, down and down. So by lifting your shoulders off slightly, you're going to engage your upper abs and making sure that there is no gap between your back and the mat. We've got our legs quite vertical at the moment. That's because we're just warming up, which means that you're not using too much of your lower abs. But as you get warmer, you can start walking your legs out a little bit further, which means that you're going to feel your lower abs engaging here. A few more bent ones like this. Up and up. So you're also warming up through the quads, the front of the thighs and the hamstrings right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to do scissors with our legs straight. So come down to your low point if you find that your back is starting to lift off the mat, you want, might want to stay up a little bit higher. You can come all the way down as well like this if that's more comfortable for you. Just make sure you keep pushing your lower back into the mat so that there's no gap there. So the lower you go with that bottom leg, the more you're gonna feel your lower abs engaging. Really starting to feel that now all through your abs. Keep your legs really nice and straight. Point your toes so that you're keeping all of your leg muscles engaged the entire time. A few more like this and then we're just gonna rotate through the upper body. Four, three, two, one. So now just rotate and rotate. You can slow it down a bit. It doesn't need to be a high lift with the upper body. We're just warming through the obliques blowing out as you come up, side to side. Feeling that everywhere now. Nice burn happening. Get it, getting everything nice and warm. Across, across. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, so come up and we're going to put on our ankle weights. So make sure that they're nice and secure so they don't move around as we do these exercises. And then we're going to lie all the way back down in the same position and do a few more exercises on our back before we go into some side lying mat work. So, this time with your ankle weights, you're going to have to try even harder not to lift that back. So I suggest that you do bring up your upper body a little bit because that's gonna help you round into the mat. Bring your legs up and we're gonna start with that similar exercise but this time both down and up, down and up. So you can immediately feel that those ankle weights are wanting to pull your legs down and you need to fight against gravity by keeping everything nice and strong. Down and up. So just holding this position with your upper body slightly up and tapping your toes, you're gonna feel your entire central section of your abs. Down and up. 
So once again, if you're ready for it, you can bring your legs further away from your butt as you tap down, and that's gonna be even tougher. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep your legs together and we're gonna rotate our legs up and around. If you want to lie down and even put your hands underneath your butt here to help you, you can do that. Or you might even want your hands further out for more stability. So you choose just making sure that you've got your entire abs engaged from the top to the bottom and you're just circling around and around. Down and up, down and up. A few more like this and then we're gonna change direction. So as you bring your legs up to vertical, I want you to squeeze the front of your thighs. That's gonna really engage your quads there. Four, three, two, one, and now the other way. Around and up, around and up, up. Controlling on the way down and on the way up. Starting to feel just above the knees, engaging quite a lot. Nice little heat happening there. Around, around. Come on, a few more like this. Keep going. Remember to hold your tummy in really strong, belly button to spine, and do not lift your back off that mat. Around. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come down and we're going to draw like a little arc to the front and to the back. So you're twisting a little bit through your waist and you're bringing your legs up on an angle. Knees slightly to the back, knees slightly to front. <sighs> Starting to really feel that burn. Front, back. So you're twisting a little bit through the obliques. You should feel that shortening in the side body there. Keep going. A little bit more. Across, across. It's like a pendulum from side to side. Keep extending strong with pointed toes so that you really squeeze those front of thighs. Four, three, feet are together, and one. Now, last little thing, I want you to keep your knees rotated and we're just gonna come down and up with that front leg. The other one's extended, down and up, down and up. So it's on an angle. Your knees are not facing your chest, they're facing at 45 degrees towards the corner of the room. Down and up, down and up. So there should be a bit of engagement here in the obliques, just from having that twist in the body. A few more, then we're going to the back leg. Up and up. Really good quad work here. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rotate so your knees are to the front and the back leg is up and down. Up and down. If ever I go too fast, you can slow it down a little bit. I like to go faster because that keeps our heart rate up a little bit more and that means we burn some fat at the same time. So if you want to engage your upper abs again, just stay up here. Just make sure you're getting your form right, okay? You don't want to sacrifice form by trying to do the advanced options. Down and up, keep that angle in the knees. Up and up. Squeeze the quad. Every time you come to the top, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're going to come and lie down on our side. Now you've got a few options here. You can come all the way down like this if you don't want to work your obliques. Otherwise, if you want to stay up like this, and make sure that your elbow and your shoulder are nicely aligned. Your tummy's in and your hips are stacked. So you need to look at your hips. Are they on top of each other? You don't want to be turning out. So you really need to push out of that shoulder. We're going to have our knees bent slightly on an angle. And all we're doing is extending the top leg. Traditional leg raises, side raises. So we all know these. They're tried and proven. So we always need to include them in a mat workout because they burn quickly and we like to get that burn in there. So you're blowing out on the up and you're trying to lift, keeping the knee to the front and really getting to that point where you're feeling that outer thigh, outer hip area engaging up. So you're definitely not going to be able to do as many as without the ankle weights because that burn creeps in there pretty fast. But we're gonna alternate between slightly tougher exercises and then not so tough so that it releases the lactic acid. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, so flex your foot and it's in and out, in and out. So this is the one that's going to release the lactic acid. Make sure you're really facing forward here. Bring your knee in as close as you can and then push away as if you're pushing something away, like a heavy cement block. Really control on the way in and on the way out. Breathing, keeping your neck nice and long. Remember, you can lie all the way down if you prefer. So staying up like this is engaging your obliques as well, your muffin top area there. So that's a bonus. A few more like this. Push away strong. Straight all the way behind the knee, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now bring your legs more like a clam position. So in line with you, and we're going to bring our toe up and just do that clam down and up with the top leg, down and up. So I like to lift my bottom shin. That way you're making that nice diamond shape. But if you prefer not to, you can do a smaller range of motion down here. But if you're up here, you actually have a little bit more range to try and bring your knee up higher towards the ceiling. Up, up. So you really feel this one straight away. There's engagement in the lower leg as well as the top leg. And try to keep those hips stacked. You're going to want to turn out to the ceiling here, but try to fight that and stay with everything facing forward. Up and up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So this time we're going to come all the way up and down so we're rotating our knee towards us, towards us and to the front. Knee towards me, to the front. So you can stay up here or you can go down. And this one is more of a stretch as well because I'm coming all the way up and then down. So if you are down here, it's actually a little bit more stable because obviously you have more of your weight on the ground. And then you can focus a bit more on squeezing that leg up and down, up and down. So see what I mean? Even though this is still using your muscles, it larger range of motion feels easier. Up and down for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Now stay with both legs in front again, but this time we're lifting up the entire leg, down and up. So it's like an L shape, and you're lifting it high, bringing your shin up towards the ceiling and then back down. You're not resting your leg at the bottom, it's a tiny tap and then back up. Tiny tap, back up. So if you wanna try it up here, then you're really gonna feel your obliques engaging. Down and up, down and up. Breathe through it, so breathe out on the up, down and up. Try and get it all the way up, and it's one unit. Your knee and your foot are in perfect alignment. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm coming down here, it's knee and toe. These ones burn bad. So we're not gonna do a huge amount, and then we're gonna do an easier one again. Down and down, down and down. Try to tap and really twist through the hip. Ah, oh, keep breathing. Down and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one tiny little break ouch now we did those presses out to the side we're going to come in and press diagonal to the front in front in front if you want to come up here that's a bit tougher otherwise just keep it almost horizontal and push in front on an angle so this is the one that's getting rid of that lactic acid from that knee toe exercise and this is our last side lying one we we'll switch to the other side after this push push so remember that heavy cement block you're pushing it away from you keeping your leg up there's a gap between both legs it's not grazing the bottom leg so you've got to keep it high and make sure that you're not shifting your body so don't do this okay try to stay forward Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Just rest that down. Uh, let that stretch out for a second. And then we're coming up and we're doing all of that to the other side. So now you know what to expect. You choose your level. Do you want to stay down or do you want to come up? I'm going to start up, keep my hips stacked on top of each other. My legs are approximately 45 degrees. I'm going to extend my top leg, make sure my chest is high, my shoulder is nice and pushed out, my neck is long, and then I'm just going to start raising. So because this leg was a stabilizing leg on the other side, it actually means that it could potentially start burning a little bit more quickly. But that's okay. We can work with it, right? up. Remembering to keep your leg long. This is all about stretching as well as strengthening. So you want to point your toe, keep it long, make sure that behind the knee is fully straightened and your kneecap is facing the front of the room here. Squeeze. You don't have to come super high. I just want you to feel that outer thigh, outer hip area engaging. Tummies are in always to protect your lower back. Point that toe, squeeze that entire leg, up and up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flex your foot and it's in towards the chest and out. So you're coming out directly in line with your hip and you're staying nice and tall in that shoulder and your tummy's pulled in, 
pushing that door shut with your foot. Make sure you extend all the way. Lock out behind the knee so it's super straight. And keep the leg up. You don't want to start dropping down. So your knee and your foot stay on the same horizontal level the entire time. Blow out as you push that foot away. Oxygen to the muscles. Feeling that in the butt as well as the outer thighs and outer hips. Nice compound move. Keep going. Straighten all the way. This is definitely an easier one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So now come down and we're going to do that clams shape. So your feet are joined and you're coming up with your bottom shin and it's down and up to the ceiling. Down and all the way up. So you're trying to just use your feet as a pivot point, keeping that lower leg nice and static. So you really need to contract that. And then the top leg is trying to get the knee vertical as close as you can come. Up, up. So control it down and control it up. Don't just let it drop. The weight of the ankle weight will always make your leg just want to drop. So you need to fight against that. Keep breathing. And remember your option. If you want to be down here, you can. You might even want to bring your foot slightly higher up but this is where I would like you to at least try a few. Even if you can't do all of them up here. Up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do that one where we're coming all the way up with our knee towards us and then coming down with the knee to the front. So we're twisting. So you can come back up for this one if you like. Up, up. So this one's easier again. We're really stretching. I'm bringing that right in towards my shoulder so that I feel that nice stretch in my inner thigh and hamstring. I'm trying to keep my leg really straight. Tummies are in. Make sure your alignment is still perfect here. Down and up. Straight, straight behind the knee. Point that toe. So this is definitely an easier one. You should be relishing how easy this is and not thinking about how hard the next two are gonna be. Uh, we can do it, come on. Few more like this, eight, seven, definitely feeling that in my abs here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now remember, line up your legs again. You can stay up here or you can lie down and it's just lifting the full leg now in a L shape. Up. So once again, trying to get the shin or the knee up to the ceiling as much as you can. Blowing out on the up. Tummies in. Fight to keep your chest to the front. Up and up. Up and up. Squeeze that at the top. Really think about contracting your glute as you go up. So squeeze now, squeeze. You've got to think actively about the muscles that are working so you get maximum benefit. The more you squeeze, the more results. Up, up. A few more like this. Keep going. Just breathe through the pain. Eight, seven, Six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to come down here and it's knee, toe, knee, toe. So try to get your foot up high and your knee up high each time. Really twisting. This one burns, I know. But we have to make it even and this is where it counts. These are the effective reps when you've got that lactic acid in there already and then your mind over matter pushing through. Come on, just breathe through it. A few more and then that last one is much, much easier. Ah, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now remember that diagonal push, so flex your foot, it's in and it's out diagonal. So about 45 degrees, in and out, much easier. If your arm's in the way, you can bring it to the back, but you should be able to just kind of tuck it in there, in and out. Squeeze behind the knee on the out, still make it effective, squeeze the front of the thigh, and you're pushing that heavy cement block away on an angle. Keep going. We're moving on after this. A few more. We're on to glutes after this. So less outer thigh. Go for eight. Seven, six, five, four. Keep your leg up. Three, two, and one, nice job. Just rest that down. Ah, oh, that feels good. Okay, come up and we're going to come into a tabletop position, but I'm gonna be super nice to you and let you come into child's pose for a second to stretch that out. One more deep breath. All right, so what we're doing is we're aligning our arms um, so that our shoulders are above our wrists and our knees are approximately hip width apart. We're going to start just with a standard glute raise with the front leg so it's up and in. So large range of motion, up and in. If you want to engage your upper body, start coming down as your leg comes up. This is optional so you don't need to do this if you don't want to. But if you can, it's a good idea to multitask up. Make sure you squeeze your glute at the top and keep your back nice and flat. Up and up. Coming down low with that chest, full range of motion. Keep going. Make sure you hold your tummy in to protect your lower back. Extend long, point through the toe. If you prefer to turn your fingers out slightly for the push-ups, push you can. And depending on how wide your mat is, you can bring your hands out slightly wider if you prefer that more stable base of support. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now we're going to do a combination. We're actually going to lie all the way down. We're going to bend that leg and shoot up for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now push yourself up and continue. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for four, three, two, one. Push up. Three, two, one. Back down. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. Again, four, three, 
two, one, and up. Three, two, one, I know it's hard. Three, two, one, and four. Three, two, one, now just one and two. Push up for two, push down for two, and up for two, down for two, up for two, last time, down for two, up for two, out, <laughs> sit back, deep breath, that was definitely a burn in there, okay, now cross your ankles so that the front leg is turned out on 45 degrees and just do large range of motion up and down, up and down, up and down. So turning the knee on an angle gets the glute in a slightly different way and a little bit of outer thigh and outer hip as well. Up, up. So that burn is still in the muscle, right? Can't escape. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now extend the leg to the corner of the mat and we're gonna come up with an extended leg. Slow it down a little bit because this is actually harder. Now, if you have any wrist issues, anytime I'm up like this, you can do it down here. That actually means you have larger range of motion, so you need to get your leg up higher. By staying up here, you're engaging your arms a little bit more, as well as your core to stabilize you. Up, up, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Tiny, tiny break. Then we're just gonna do a combination and then we're on the other side. So cross over again. We're gonna come up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. You need to stay on that angle, okay? Kneecap is 45 degrees, not facing down. Up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. As you extend, squeeze that entire leg. Up, extend, in and down. Come on, try to keep your chest facing the mat. It's gonna wanna turn out to the front, but try, try not to. Look down at your mat, keep your neck nice and long. A few more like this. How about six? Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, sit back again. Nice stretch. And we're on to the other side. So I'm just going to change sides. You don't need to, just so you can see my leg a little bit better. So we're starting off with those full range leg extensions, and I'm gonna do push-ups with them. I'm gonna keep my hands slightly turned out, so it's in and out, so just start with those extensions first. And then once you have it, come down as your leg goes out. 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 So make sure you squeeze your butt at the top of that raise, and your leg is straight there and then you're just bringing your chest towards the mat. Doesn't have to be super low. All the way extend, extend. Feeling my arms, feeling my glutes. That supporting leg is working too, keeping you nice and stable. Make sure your tummy's pulled in here. Keep going, out. Stretch that leg long, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one. Okay, we're gonna start with our chest down. So you wanna have your hands ready to push you up so they're by your chest. Fingertips to the front, your leg is bent and we're starting with eight of each. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up. Try not to lose any, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're here for four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Again, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, and down, four, three, two, one, it's four, three, two, one, and down for four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, down for two, one, up for two, one, down for two, one, up for two, one, down for two, one, up for two, one, last one, two, one, up for two, one, ah, child's pose for a second, deep breath, I think I counted right there, I hope I didn't miss out a set of fours, if I only did three sets, go back and do more, okay, cross your ankles, kneecap is towards the front now, and we're doing full range of motion, up and down, turned out, up, up, squeeze, so you're still feeling that pain in there. Tell your brain it's only lactic acid and you can keep moving through it. Up. So knee is turned out, but chest is straight towards the mat. Blow out on the up. Squeeze and squeeze. Come on. You did it on the other side. You know you can live through it. Eight, seven, six, control it down. Four, three, two, and one. Now extend to the corner, and we're doing extended turned out raises. Slightly slower, because it's harder. When you've got a longer lever, it's always harder. Push out of the shoulders, don't slouch. Leg is super straight. Point the toe, straight as an arrow. Squeeze your thighs, up, up. Come on, a few more. And then we've got the last exercise in this position. Then we've just got a little bit to go and we're done. So you can do this. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Now cross it again, and we're doing that up, extend, in and down in that turnout position. So it's up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. So on the out, squeeze. Squeeze your glute and extend. Glute and thighs, all the way down to your tippy toes. Extend. Blow out on the up. Keep going. Come on, this is the last exercise in this position. Up. Burning. But we're strengthening our muscles. We're creating new muscle memory here. Work through the burn. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. 
So you definitely would have felt that in the arms as well, holding you in that position. Come down, deep breaths. Okay, so now we're gonna sit on our butt again and we're going to do a bit more inner thigh and front of thigh. So I want you to engage your arms here as well and the way to do that is by keeping your fingertips towards you or slightly turned out and your arms tight in close to your body and putting some weight on there, okay? So put some weight on there, not a huge amount, but there's definitely some weight. Also hold your belly button in and we're gonna extend the front leg and we're gonna turn it out. So the kneecap is towards the front and we're just gonna go in and out, hovering the leg, hovering it. So remember to stay slightly back so you've got weight in your triceps. In and, in and blow out and push away. Ah, oh, this is hard already. Come on, you can do this. So you're gonna feel your front of thigh and a bit of inner thigh. A bit more inner thigh in a second. Ah, oh, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now put it down and turn your legs out so they're like in a diamond shape. And we're just gonna raise that shape of the leg up, up, up. So now you should feel more inner thigh. Try to lift that whole leg in one go. I know it hurts. Up, up. Come on. This is the last little bit. You can do this. Try to keep the weight on your arms. Up. Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we're going to the other side. I'm just gonna switch around so you can see a little bit better. So remember, fingertips either towards your bum or slightly out, but your arms need to be in. The back leg is bent, the front leg is flexed, and then turn it out so your inner thigh is up to the ceiling and it's in and out, in and out. Weight is in the arms, in and out. You can slightly move your chest up and down or forward and back if you want to. That's gonna kind of engage the abs a little bit more as well. Pushing away. Remember to squeeze the front of your thighs here. Really simple moves, but engaging a lot of muscle groups. In and out, in and out. Come on, we're nearly done. Just keep going. Make your last exercises as good as your first. Keep that knee turned out. It's gonna to wanna to turn up to the ceiling. Don't let it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now diamond shape and lift that leg. Lift, lift. If this is just too much for you, you can come down here and that will take a bit of hip flexor out of it and make it slightly easier. But if you can, seeing that this is the last exercise, I want you to stay up and just keep the weight in your arms. Hold your belly button into your spine as much as you can. Keep your leg turned out as much as you can and pull that up, up. Up, keep going. You will always feel some hip flexor here, but it will get stronger. So focus on inner thigh. That's why you need to keep your heel up as much as possible. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I lied, it wasn't your last exercise. We're just doing some triceps. Look, I'm not even gonna make you get your butt off the ground. This is all we're doing, bend press, 
bend press, fingers out or in, bend press. All I want from you is that you put all your weight into the palms of your hands and then you press up and you squeeze the tops of your arms. This should actually be <laughs> quite easy considering that we don't even have our bum lifted off the mat, so I am just being so super kind to you right now. That's why we need to sink low, push up, push up, up, come on, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, yay. <laughs> We're done, okay, so just cross under your legs and push away, stretching out between the shoulder blades. That feels really nice. And then one leg over, really tall through the chest and twist to look away. Long spine and other leg across. And then same thing, just twist away. So we can actually use the ankle weights to our advantage, lie down and do a hamstring stretch and the weight is going to help you to stretch out even more. So just point and flex here. Trying to keep that straight. It doesn't matter if you're up here, or if you're right close next to your face, it all depends on your flexibility. And wherever you're at, that's totally fine. Then just figure four. You can push away here. If you wanna hold on underneath your leg on the other side. The main point is to stretch this glute. So pushing away on the knee really helps with that. And once again, if you're just down here and you're feeling it, then that's fine too. And then I'm just gonna switch sides. Do the other side straight away. Feel that stretching out, loosening up. And then just bring that hamstring up, point and flex. The main point is to keep behind the knees straight. Okay, as straight as you can. Some people can't straighten out, so if there's a tiny micro bend, that's fine, as long as you feel this back of leg stretching. Now just bring your knees in, and we're going to allow our legs to drop to the front, making sure our shoulders stay down. And then bring it up and to the back. And then just roll yourself up. And just for our lower back, we wanna do some cat cow. So breathe in through the nose, breathe out and roll your spine up. And then relax, look up. And again. And down. And then just sit down and bring the soles of your feet together and just allow your knees to fall to the side. You can push down slightly. If your ankle weights are in the way for this, you can take them off now. We're just opening up through the inner thighs. And then just because we had a lot of weight on our hands for the all fours, just in front, up and over, stretching that out, other side, and finally behind, up and back. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my mat workout with ankle weights. I hope you felt the burn. I hope you liked the burn in a weird sort of sadistic way but I'm hoping that this will give you some good results if you keep up with it. And even if you couldn't use the ankle weights this time, don't worry about it. Next time, try half of it and just keep progressing. You will get stronger. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.